couple of hard losses in a row. It must be feeling really good. Yeah, definitely a, a satisfying win on our home floor. Um, we know that you know they're a really tough opponent. Have been rolling, and you know we knew it was going to take a lot. And um, what I love is I look at this box score and I see 50 points off the bench, and you know that's to me what tonight was about is that we got a, a real collective effort and uh, couldn't be happier. Yeah, with um, Daniel Dove on the floor, also Harrison as well. Is that sort of those two plays there? Is that? epitomise what you want to see from your side this year? Yeah, absolutely. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more after half-time. Uh, that's why we had a quick timeout because I didn't think we had that same level of uh, desperation intensity at that moment. But, um, you know, what I'm seeing in the group is just a growth in belief that when we do the, the right things, we stick to our habits, that things will go our way. And, um, you know, I think those two in particular through this stretch have been outstanding. Um, the guy next to me is really finding his feet in the league. And again, you know, having contribution and seven guys in double figures, um, you know, is really pleasing. It's our highest score of the year, I'm pretty sure, Suze. Um, but, you know, we will always look at the defensive end and see 92 and wish we did a little bit better. So, um, yeah, please right now in, in the way we did it. Yeah, same team two weeks ago, lost by 23. Would you see a difference in the team one just one fortnight ago to now? What, what are the differences? Yeah, like, honestly, I know the, the margin looked bad yeah. in that one, but we actually felt until Tyrell got in foul trouble that we were right there and, and probably in control in a number of ways. Um, the first quarter in that one, we, we missed so many layups at the rim. And um, so we used, I guess, that those learnings to say, like, we know we can go pound for pound. It's just about finding the advantages more consistently and doing our job better for longer stretches. And obviously, Bainesy being able to come back in and give us some more depth in the, in that position when you're going against a, a Williams is, is an advantage for us. So, um, no, really pleasing for him to come in, have the impact that he did. It was definitely sorely missed in that one last time. And, you know, I just love the resolve of our group, um, you know, when we get challenged and how we go about it. Um, why, why did it take five and a half minutes to get Baines into the classroom? Uh, look, we, we're always going to start Tyrell. Like, he's been doing his job and been outstanding uh, through this patch. Um, we actually were, were playing a match Rocco up with, with Gak uh, for the majority of the night. So he was first sub in. That's kind of how it worked. Um, what I love is Bainesy came up to him and said, make sure you give Rocco that one. Um, don't change it up. And, uh, you know, that's the, the beauty of this group right now is that we don't care who starts, we don't care who ends. It's like, are we winning our position as a collective? And, you know, time and time again, that's happened. You know, Bano next to me, but DJ, I think, had his best best game of the year for us as well. And so I look at that position. Creaky was outstanding, but I'm really happy with the two that went against him all night. So um, that's how we'll continue to evaluate ourselves. Josh, how did you enjoy tonight's game, mate? He's really starting to find your feet out in this league. Yeah, definitely. Like, my comfort level continues to increase up and get some more games under my belt. Um, Super stoked with the result. I think the way the guys got went about it today was we, we were we were really good in patches. Now we still need to work on putting together that throughout the duration of the game. But you know that that was a good effort from the group, um, and we were just elite sharing the ball tonight. I felt like. Do you, um, Justin, would you say this is the best stretch of basketball you've seen from Harrison, or and obviously Josh as well, but starting with Harrison? Yeah, like I've known. Known Tyrell for a long time and always felt like, you know, his health was the only thing stopping him from being great in the league. And, you know, that's something we worked very hard with him in the off season on um, and continue to do so. And, you know, like his data when we were going through recruitment period was jumping off the, the page. So now we knew what we were getting and what I love about him right now is that he's his consistency is there and that's what we keep asking of him. And you know, we're not asking him to play thirty minutes. We just need him to be great in his time and you know trust that you know we'll be able to get him a rotation when it's when it's suitable. Um, but yeah, he's done a great job through this stretch and we know we'll continue to do so. Mm. As you start the season we had a conversation we said you, you had you found yourself in a bit of a hole at the start of the game. You'd kind of be down by ten or so. In the last two or three games, it's completely a different story. You guys have had a lead. What's been the difference there? Do you think? Like, starting off strong. Yeah, honestly, I think it's Mitch Norton and Sam McDaniel's defensive um, capabilities and accountability. Um, you know, like that's not to say that uh, the changes are solely on them, but you know what it's been able to do for us is we we can give them assignments. It allows us to to play the offense the way that we want to at the start and and continue to grow as the as we make our rotations and go. Um, the other one is is Bano. Like you know we. 
He was our biggest target in recruitment. We knew how important he would be to our offense and defensive structures. Um, having him back in the lineup, you know, definitely has allowed us to have more consistency in the way that we play it. Um, and we, we like the rhythm we're finding with Chris off the bench. Like he's an absolute weapon, um, and that's a big reason we got 50 points off the bench tonight. Is him coming in, giving us contribution consistently, uh, where we felt like we were having lulls at different times. So I think you know, right now we've, we've found a solution, and we need to continue to play that way. Josh, how do you uh, you know the shots that you got tonight? Did you like them? Did you get enough shots up, do you think? Or <laughs> uh, like, absolutely. Like, we're, any time we're in a position winning like that, there's never going to be any question about, did I, did I get, like, I'll nev that's yeah. never a question. Like, we, it's the great strength about this team, and Justin talks about it, is just the depth and the guys sharing the ball, mm -hmm. multiple guys who can score, and that's, like, that's who we are, and that's our identity, um, and we're going to continue to play that way. Made your free throws, man. That's the main thing. Gave him one off him. Yeah, Justin, uh, just a bit more on Aaron Baines. What did you make of his impact on the game tonight and the energy that he brought off the bench? Yeah, outstanding. Like, uh, you know, 12 and 7 really was able to put um, them in positions where, you know, we were able to draw some fouls on them and, and put them in, in spots where they either defended it or they didn't. And, um, you know, just having the big fella back and his experience, his presence, I went to him at one point where I felt we were losing kind of our focus and our edge and, you know, bring him straight in and we're instantly better in that space. So, no, he was great tonight and, you know, like, he, he's done it tough while he's been out, you know, like, it, it hasn't been easy for him, but he's been a great teammate the whole way um, and we couldn't wait for him to get back and to get that opportunity, the way he played tonight in front of our home fans, um, yeah, really, really great for us. Does he have to stay on the bench, though, for a little bit longer, <laughs> Pretty good, pretty hard to kick him out of the starting five. Yeah, and again, like, you know, we're, we're not really about who starts, it's who finishes. And I think, uh, you know, like, time and time again, as long as we're winning that, that position, we're happy. And, you know, yeah, Tyrell's earned the right to keep that spot for now. Um, Bainsy will keep doing his job. Rocco will keep taking his opportunities. And we feel pretty good about that spot. Yeah, just quickly, Justin, there was a, a tough game to get get the flow going for both teams early. I mean, so many fouls were called, and by the end of the game, I think there were 77 free throws by, by both teams. Is it is it tough to, to coach a game like that when there's so many whistles being called? No, I found it kind of easy because we were just doing a poor job of putting him on the line. You know, like we knew that we could just be a little bit better, keep the game in front, keep our hands out. Like we were going to be in a great position to win the game. And yeah, the frustration was that we continued to put them there, um, you know, by not doing our early work and putting ourselves in a position of success. But um, yeah, the rhythm did take a while. You know, it's two games in a row. Sobes has had to sit. Um, and I guess the, you know, you look at it and you go, well, other guys have stepped into that opportunity uh, and done a great job for us. So, yeah, no, like, you know, I was disappointed we weren't up by more um, at quarter times. I felt we had opportunity to, um, but definitely that, you know, that second quarter um, to stay the course and continue to forge forward was, was pretty pleasing. Yeah, at the same time, I, I've, it was strange that Soaps got two fouls at once at the same time as well. So, but that's a, a question for, a, for another, another day. Um, just finally, going into launch session, what are you expecting different from the Jack Jumpers than what you saw last Sunday, Sunday against them? Yeah, like, I mean, they've been sitting there all week <laughs> thinking about the last time we played them. And, you know, we know that, um, you know, even Scott mentioned that the Silverdome hasn't been a, a great place for them. That was actually my place of employment for a number of years. So I'm looking forward to getting back there and so are the boys. But, uh, no, we know they're going to be well prepared, um, throw some different things at us. And, you know, for us right now, it's about can we just do our job a little bit better? Um, you know, there's, there's things that we're going to look at from this one again that we just say, yep, we didn't have our winning habits in those moments. And, you know, once we can put more consistency together, we know it's going to be a really good contest down there. And we honestly can't wait to, to get into it. Thanks, guys. One more for me, Josh. Mm -hmm. Mate, can you describe the feeling amongst the boys after sort of going through a four games, L's, and then three in a row? Like, can you just describe that feeling? 
Yeah, it's it's a funny one. Like you you go out and you win the first two games of the season, and you get a win against New Zealand in New Zealand, which has traditionally been very tough to do. Um, and then you kind of you lose a couple, and then all of a sudden it's four in a row, um, and you feel like your backs are against the wall a little bit. Uh, but I had someone tell me a couple of years ago, um, a huge thing in this league is never get too high, never get too low. And that's something Justin's preached. And for us, it's about red line. Like you just, you can't ride the wave too far up and down. You try and keep your emotions as steady as you can. Um, we win three in a row right now. But the, the thing is, you can't get too high in that. Like we go, we have to go play a sad day. And like, it, like you said, you know, you enjoy tonight enjoy the feeling and very quickly move on tomorrow to what we need to do to prepare to get another win. What would you like to see on, on the weekend then if you have to pick something to improve from tonight? Um, obviously the foul discipline's a big one. Like you put in teams that have foul line 42 times, it's not winning basketball. Um, i got to be a lot better at defensive rebounding, boxing out my guy. That was something big from myself in that game, which we gave up O-boards on free throws, and it's going to be... I'm going to look back and see the tape, and it's going to be my fault a lot. Um, but, like, you know, there's a couple... Like, there's things we've got to tidy up. Like, we did a great job offensively, but like, like Justin said, like, you give up 92 points, that's too much. Um, so we'll tidy up the defensive end going into Saturday and have a great plan and give ourselves the best chance we can to win. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Bano.